Hi, my name is Megan Larkin, and I am an OCHEM 235 at NAU with Dr. Siramula. The structure I'm going to be ta or the chemical I'm going to be talking about today is sodium laureth sulfate, also known as sodium laurel ether sulfate. So first, I'm going to show you the chemical structure. As you can see, it is CH3, CH210, CH2, OCH2, CH2N, and the N stands for uh, the number of OCH2, CH2 groups, which determines the specific chemical, and then OSO3NA. So, sodium laureth sulfate is synthesized by first taking laurel alcohol and ethoxylating it to make it ethoxylated laurel alcohol and that's the ethoxylate group you then get ethoxylated laurel alcohol you add sulfuric acid H2SO4 and you end up with hydrogen laurel sulfate. Then you add a sodium carbonate and then finally you end up with sodium laureth sulfate. So most sodium laureth sulfate is made from coconut oil because the fatty, it's rich in fatty acid called lauric acid. Um, they heat the coconut oil in water in the presence of sodium hydroxide. It converts the oil into fatty acids. The fatty acids are converted into alcohols by hydrogenation. And then the fatty alcohols are called laurel alcohol. Laurel alcohol is then converted into laurel ethoxylated alcohol and then that synthesis process I just showed you takes place. So sodium laurel sulfate is the more dangerous form used in products so in order to make it less irritating they they um, convert it to sodium laureth sulfate because um, the sodium laureth sulfate won't dissolve proteins in the tissues like sodium laurel sulfate does because sodium laureth sulfate is used as a detergent and surfactant in a lot of personal care products for the skin it is a very inexpensive and very effective foaming agent as well. It's a detergent, wetting agent, and an emulsifier. It's found in over 90% of our personal care products, such as shampoo, uh, bubble bath, soap, detergent, toothpaste, shower gel. Um, the way it works as a surfactant is that a surfactant lowers the surface tension of liquid and allows the um, liquids to mix more easily and this allows the products that contain the so sodium laureth sulfate to remove grease and oil such as from dirty dishes, grease, and oil from your hair for example um, it is a white to yellowish paste and sometimes even colorless and so now you know that when you wash your hair or your clothes or your dishes or any other sort of body um, care products it most always will most always often will contain sodium laureth sulfate
And a thing to be careful of is that it can be mildly irritating to your skin or your eyes. So that's all.